Section 6.3, Homework Problem Number 2. So first, we need to use the scale fold method to solve this division problem. And then we need to interpret the steps. So every step we did in this method, we need to give an explanation using this example. Uh, so I am going to use the example that I did in class, 4,581 divided by 7. And uh, I'm going to combine A and B uh, in uh, together, which is the solution right here. And uh, by the way, the common method method, this is what we normally teach in the fifth grade. And w they didn't ask us to do that. We still need to know how to do that. But um, the common method literally comes from the scaffold method. It's just uh, uh, condensed. As you can see here, um, the difference is in the scaffold method, we don't really just put a six, uh, we put a 600, because six does mean 600. And we don't put a five, we put a 50, because five uh, lines up with eight, and the place value of eight is in the uh, tens, and the uh, four is just means four. So we would have to put them separately and add them up to add all these three up to get uh, 654. And also the other difference from the common method is um, when we multiply 6 and 7, instead of just writing down 42, but again, because we line up 42 with 45, and 45 here means 45 hundreds, 42 also means 42 hundreds. But in scaffold method, we do want to write down the whole number, which is 42 hundreds. Okay. All right. And also in the subtraction, we subtract 42 hundreds from the original number to get the, the actual remainder instead of just subtracting 42 from 45 and write down uh, 3 and then only bring one digit down instead of the entire, all the re remaining digits down. So uh, there is a small difference here, but again, the common method is a short version uh, of the scaffold method. So it, since this question did not ask us to do this common method, so we, we don't need to do this. So we're just going to do the scaffold method. Okay, so this is how we do the scaffold method. So first, uh, the, there is one step that is skipped here. Um, first, we actually check um, this. the place value of 4 is 4,000. So we have four big bundles of 1,000. And we are going to check, or you can imagine you have four uh, bills. Each of them has value 1,000. And that's not enough because four is a number smaller than seven. So that's not enough. Four bills are not enough for seven people to share. And if we don't do exchanges. So there is actually a zero here, which is seven goes into four, th uh, four zero times. Or you can say, um, you know, we have four bundle, big bundles of 1,000. Each bundle has 1,000 uh, toothpicks. And, and we, we cannot give everybody... Uh, a, one th a bundle and again this zero lines up with with uh, four and which means it has the same place value as four which is uh, zero thousand so that means nobody can get a one thousand okay everybody gets zero thousand which makes sense because if everybody gets one thousand that's going to be seven thousand exceeding the number but usually we can omit that zero there and just leave a space and make sure you leave a space there. So that means uh, we cannot give everybody a thousand dollar bill or a thousand bundle of toothpicks. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, um, add a digit and to look at 45 um, hundreds. And so again, four, 40, uh, 4, 4,000 means four, uh, 40 um, hundreds and plus the 500 so together it's 4500 and now we have 45 individual bundles each has 100 uh, or you can think of as 45 bills each of value 100 and that can we can do a div uh, division process and or in the other words in if we go ahead and just do part b um, what are we trying to find here we're trying to find uh, um seven <clears throat> how many hundreds of seven are contained in this number 4581 so we we end up with the 600 at most and um because 600 times 7 that gives us 4200 
So because again, we have um, we if we give everybody everybody uh, seven cookies. So here, in terms of the word problem, and here is not, uh, not I in class I use the money, but you, here we're using cookies as an example. So if we have four thousand five hundred eighty-one cookies and give everybody seven, so how many people can get uh, the cookies? So first of all, we determine okay, there will be six hundred people who can get, but we may have more than six hundred. We may have how many tens and how many individual ones. So first we determine step one. We determined that. Uh, we can give 600 people seven cookies each. And so that's the first step, which is the division we did. So again, uh, you don't have to write this down, but I'm going to explain like what we did here. So we did a division. And we did is 45 by 7, which is 45 means 45 hundredths by 7. And we end up with, uh, uh, maybe I should write down 4,500 divided by 7. That gives us uh, roughly 600. And with the remainder, we will calculate the remainder later. That's the division process, how we got uh, 600. And then how do we calculate remainder? Because we need to know uh, if we give 600 people seven cookies each, how many cookies have we distributed? So we, for 4,200, which is 600 sevens. So 600 people, everybody gets seven cookies. So that's how we get 4,200. So that's the multiplication step we're doing. And final, uh, next we do subtraction. So we had 4,581 cookies. We distributed, we gave out 4,200, and we're left with 381. So this is the subtraction step we're doing. Um, I guess I just put a subtraction here. Okay. And uh, after subtraction, and we're going to uh, uh, in the common method, we have to bring down uh, next digit, but uh, in the scaffold method, because we already, because we already took the original number into consideration, we already have everything, so we don't have to do bring down the step, uh, bring down. And in common method, we have to do does McDonald's sell burgers? So divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So here for a scaffold method, we don't have to do bring down. Okay. So now we already, after subtraction, we will get everything, 381 cookies. Now we're going to try to see the remainder, 381 cookies. How many, if I give everybody seven cookies, how many people can get, uh, how many fifth tens of people can get cookies? So in other words, how many tens of sevens are contained in 381? So we, we do division again. Um, so we're going to have to do division again, which is 381 um, divide by, divide by um, I guess technically here we should do 4,581 divided by that. So 381 divided by and 7. So we're going to get roughly a 50, this many tens. And, uh, or you could just do 380, uh, around it as how many tens. And with the remainder, so in order to figure out the remainder, we need to figure out 57 equal, equals what? So we're going to do multiplication, 50 people, everybody gets 7 cookies, so that's a total of 350 cookies. And then do a subtraction, that gives us how many cookies are left. So that's um, 31 cookies. Now let's distribute, let's see how many people can... And get cookies if we uh, with with the 31, and so we do a division again. So that's like 31 divided by seven, which gives uh, at most four. And there's going to be a remainder, which we're going to figure out later. So everybody, uh, we can give uh, four people. Each of them gets seven cookies. So four sevens. That's multiplication here. We're doing 28. That's how we got 28. That's four sevens. And then we do a subtraction to get the remainder. So when you do the homework, you don't have to write down these div division, multiplication, subtraction, but uh, I'm trying to help you to remember the steps. Um, does McDonald's sell um, in the scaffold method? Okay, so now we finished this part right here. That part uh, is called, maybe just highlight that, is called scaffold method. So that's the method. Right here, that is the 
interpretation for part B. So we could com combine A and B together. Uh, if you want to say a few words here uh, in terms of this, um, you could add. So here you, you could say um, how many hundreds of seven cookies um, and how many uh, times of seven cookies and so on. So um, you, this is optional if you can write down the explanation like this and that should be good enough. That's the general case. and. Uh, in turn, all you have to add is in terms of cookies. So when you teach in a class, you may really want to use cookies to explain. So probably you will um, add words like cookies or you know, dollars if you use money. So finally, part C, we want you to write a single equation and to demonstrate the process we did here. So notice we started with 4,581. We first distribute, give out 600 people each of them gets seven cookies. So that's 607, 607 is right here. And we uh, we had a remainder 381, but you don't have to show that yet. And then we continue to give out 50, give uh, 50 people, each of them get seven cookies. And then we also have 31 left, but again, we don't have to write on the remainder. We just continue to distribute the remain, remaining cookies, give uh, four people, each of them get seven cookies. So after we deduct, give out 600 people, 50 people, four people, each of them seven cookies. Now we have a final remainder, which is three equals three. So we can combine all the uh, three steps together. And notice that we can combine all of these together. Remember we give seven, give out two cookies to 600 people, 50 people, four people, all together that's uh, 654 people. Okay. If you understand this step, you may and uh, you may be able to skip some of the steps here. Uh, and it's using um, a property. So we're combining all of these together, which is 654 people times each of them gets seven cookies. So the remainder will be three.